Alright, alright. I hope everybody is okay out there. Hi Eve. Hi Eva. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi Angel B. Hi, Big Bunny. Okay, um, you guys, I want to talk about the viral story about a three-year-old waking up at her funeral. So let me know if you guys can hear me. Hi, David Potter. Hi, Mo Crate. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi there, I want to talk about um, my reaction to a three-year-old little girl waking up at her funeral. Has anyone heard of this story? Hi, Boss Fowler. Welcome everyone that is joining. Okay, um, a three-year-old... Um, she died from a stomach bug and woke up at her own funeral. This story went viral last week and I was floored. I'm a three-year-old girl from Mexico named Camila Roxana Martinez Mendoza was found alive in her own coffin after being ruled dead from a stomach bug and dehydration. Okay, y'all. Um, so basically they went to Camilla's funeral and saw condensation on her um, casket. So they had like a, ga a glass piece over the casket. Um, so soon after Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm I'm well. How are you? I am doing very good. I would be glad to say that. You what? Where are you um, from? South Carolina. South Carolina? Yes. Is that, what, is that what you said? Yes. How is it like over there? It's okay. Where are you from? Columbus. Where? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, okay. Ohio. Gotcha. Okay. Me? Yes. Yes. What got you up this late? I couldn't sleep. What got you up this late? I could not sleep. You couldn't sleep? Stand here. Stand here. You don't think that keeps you up. Maybe, maybe if you delete the apps, you'll sleep. <laughs> Actually, I was up working on some travel quotes. So I was already up. Oh. Yes. I'm just trying to thing out so I, I thought I might catch you. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's, see, let's see if you can beat me. <laughs> you got your secret? I don't know. I don't your see people, anything. Are, are all your people online? I doubt it. I'm just trying it out. Oh. Okay. But hey. Nice meeting you. I'm just chilling up here. <laughs> okay. That's All right. The what now? Yes. You ever, you ever heard of Somali music? 
No. Somebody on my comments is asking if you're single. I am. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yes. Do you have any kids? One. One? Yes. Nice. Boy or girl? A boy. A boy? Are you looking for a relationship? That's what they're asking. Oh my God. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Okay. <laughs> You're like, what they're saying, huh? Yeah, I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> okay. I was speaking uh for my language somewhere. Tap the screen for me guys, tap the screen, tap 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 Okay, so are you single? Do you have any children? Who me? Yes, you I am not single. I am in relationships. And yes, I have a kid. I have three kids. I have two boys and one daughter. Oh, wow. Yep. That's a lot. Someone in the comments said you look so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess nobody's voting for me. <laughs> Come on now, nobody wanted to tap for the single lady. Where are going to All right, looks like you won. All right. Okay, now that was wild. This is my first live and I thought he was coming on to respond to the story and he asked me a whole bunch of questions and nobody voted for me. How wild. Okay, so I went live to talk about um, a three-year-old um, waking up at her funeral. Maybe I can get back to that. Um anybody on say hi let me know where you're tuning in from how about that have you watched any of my videos before um i do a lot of funny videos on my personal page but sometimes i do do um serious stuff and this story went viral last week and i just was like oh gosh and then i had a lot going on i wanted to go live about it and um we had a family emergency, which put me behind. And um, I'm finally able to go live. So, yeah, a three-year-old um, girl from Mexico, Camila Roxana Martinez Mendoza, was found alive in her coffin after being ruled dead from a stomach bug and dehydration. Um, Camilla was confirmed to be breathing when a funeral attendee uh, spotted condensation 
on one of the coffin's glass panels. So can you imagine they thought this young lady was dead? Um, they're going into the funeral and there she was breathing because now they see the condensation on the glass panel that's over her face. All right, soon after, another member of Carmilla's family um, noticed her eyes moving and a pulse revealed that the girl was, in fact, still alive. Okay, so I'm guessing they don't do embalming in Mexico. Is that what it is? I'm shocked. Um... And tap the screen if you can hear me and like the and you're liking the story. Tap on the screen. Um, Camilla later died after being rushed to the hospital by family members. Um, Camilla's parents are now accusing the hospital and the staff of negligence after Miss diagnosing their daughter's death. Okay, so those of you that are just tuning in, we had a three-year-old that had a stomach bug, went to the hospital. Um, they pronounced her dead. Now we're at her funeral, and now we notice that she is alive. Um, after they rushed her back to the hospital, she died again. Um, Camilla's mother, um, Mary Jane Mendoza, first took her daughter to the family pediatrician on August the 17th after Camilla had experienced severe stomach pain and vomiting as well as a fever. Um, doctors recommended that Camilla be taken to the hospital for dehydration. At the hospital, staff worked to monitor her oxygen levels and bring her fever down before being discharged an hour later with a prescription. So she took her to the hospital. They discharged her with a prescription. Then the condition got worse. Uh, she was taken to another doctor who recommended she avoided sweet fruits and drink lots of fluids. Uh, this did Camilla, who was still vomiting. Um, she ate, drank, no good. And the girl was once again rushed to the hospital where after 10 minutes and with an IV, doctors convinced Mendoza to let her daughter go peacefully. Okay, that is crazy. Why would they convince her to let her daughter die? Hi, Sean. Tap the screen for me. I'm well, how are you? Tap the screen, give me some likes. Thank you. Where are you tuning in from, Sean? Um, she said the, the little girl was still hugging her. Um, she said, they took her away from me. You have to let her rest in peace. Uh, for reasons still unknown, uh, Mendoza was not allowed to be in the room with her daughter when she died. Sanford, Maine. Okay, I never heard of that. Um, Camilla was officially pronounced dead a few hours later and was transferred to the funeral home the next day where she was still discovered to be alive. Okay, y'all. I don't know how, you know, I would have fought the hospital because I had needed to be in the room with my child. I don't understand how they did not let the mother back in the room with her child. Um... Camilla was pronounced dead for a second time, although doctors attribute her death to a cerebral edema instead of dehydration. That was really where my baby was done. We are devastated because my baby girl was a very happy person. Um, she didn't single anyone out, and she's very devastated. I'm um, Sean. The story is a three-year-old little girl woke up at her own funeral um this story went viral last week um the little girl is from mexico um uh, now mendoza the mother is telling the story so this doesn't happen to anyone else there in mexico y'all can you imagine you going to the funeral of your child no, she was not. 
um, not in this story. They don't say that she was thirsty. They just said um, there was condensation on the casket and um, she began to move her eyes. I didn't see anything about her being thirsty, Sean. I can only imagine how they felt um, seeing her moving when she was announced dead. I, Y'all, I... Mm -mm. Thank you, Sean. I... What, y'all, talk to me about this story. You're at a funeral and the three-year-old wakes up. She starts moving. You guys get to the hospital and then she's died again. Yeah, I know this family is devastated. Uh, I think the hospital should do better um, with diagnosing and care. But I guess this is Mexico. But I feel like they should have um, better doctors. For those of you that are just tuning in, a three-year-old um, had a stomach bug. And... Um, she died and woke up at her funeral. You had a similar experience with your aunt's cat. Okay. I am not going there tonight or early today. Um, this is wild. I don't think I'm ever going to watch this for you again. But anyway, yeah, I really wanted to talk about the story. Um, According to the Daily Mail. Oh wow. Okay, Sean. That's that's crazy. But cats do have nine lives, is what they say. But parents have to be their child's advocate. Um you can't let your child go into um, the hospital by themselves. You cannot let them go in the back alone. I don't give a freak about what's going on right now. A three-year-old should have had her mother in the room. They should not have pulled the child away from her mother if she was still hugging her mother. That means she was still alive. She was still moving. She was still talking and breathing. And they should have let the mother and the child stay together. Um, do any of you agree on that? They shouldn't have separated the mother and the child. Yeah, it is sad, Sean. It's very, very sad. Um, now my son wasn't three. Um, he was a little older when he went in for dehydration. I want to say he's about eight, and they didn't separate us. Um, and he has autism, so I cannot see me letting my uh, and not three years old um he had surgeries when he was that young and i couldn't go into the surgery but trust me if i could i would have been in there because i want to see everything that's going on with my child i i just can't imagine i this story really hit hard um I will be going live again probably at the end of the week with a viral news story um I said this is when I'm going to start using my last word. Because um, I do reaction videos. Why not? And you guys seem to be liking my reactions to the videos. This story went viral. A three-year-old woke up at her funeral. I just can't even imagine. I just can't even imagine. Thank you for the like, Sean. I just... Woo! I'm sitting at a funeral, and that is my fear, is sitting at a funeral and somebody actually sits up in the casket. But they didn't say she sat up. They just said she was breathing, and they noticed her eyes moving. And they rushed her back to the hospital, and she passed away again. I, I just think the hospital is just negligent all the way around. Thank you so much for the light. Um, yeah. But that's Mexico, so I guess we couldn't expect any more from them, or could we? I don't care. What do y'all think? Hi, everyone tuning in. Let me know where you are calling. Calling. Tell I used to do phone. I was customer service. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know where you're tuning in from. 
And have you heard of this story where the three-year-old woke up at her funeral? And only Sean responded. I feel like health insurance should be free to everyone. No matter what. I I totally agree, Sean. I totally agree. Health insurance should be free to everyone. But I'm feeling she shouldn't have died from a stomach bug. What in the world is going on here? She shouldn't have died from a stomach bug. At three years old. And how long was it going on for her to be seriously dehydrated? Okay, they did. They said, um, let me go back. It was something about her brain. Edema. That's what they said. In the end, it was edema. But in the end, um, you guys, they let her lay in a cast a coffin overnight. They didn't treat her. So she had no IV or nothing. They just put her out to die. And maybe some neuron activity still kicking around. Maybe. Or she just, I, I'm, I'm just thinking she really wasn't dead. They didn't care. They just sent her straight to the funeral home. And let her lay there. So she laid in a coffin all night. I, I, I know she had to be frightened. My God. She wasn't with her parents. Laying in a box. Hmm. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Have you heard of this story where the three-year-old uh, woke up in her casket at her funeral after fighting a stomach bug? Little Miss Camilla, like the brain went dormant and the other organs were still operating, but like on low oxygen. Okay. I can feel you on that. I can. That's still crazy. That's my worst fear going to a funeral. It's been recorded in history before. Yes, I have heard of it. Um actually saw a YouTube video it was a couple of months ago. Um, where a woman actually um, sat up at her funeral, got up. She lived, I think, another 20, 30 years after it. But people in her town were afraid of her. Um, <laughs> they thought it was some form of witchcraft. <laughs> I don't know. But they said it's a true story. Um, but people didn't want her to come back to church or anything after that. They had they didn't want anything to do with her. So yeah, I've heard of um several stories. But I'm thinking in these days and time, like I said, they could they didn't do a bombing. They just gonna bury her like that the next day. So what is really going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know if you heard of this story of the three-year-old um, waking up at her funeral. And my name is Ro. This is my first TikTok live. So I am um, ecstatic. Welcome, welcome. His brain recently went into low power mode. And woke up a, a year after the war. What? A year later, he wakes up in the hospital or in, the, or had to be, not in the casket. It's wild. Okay. All right, you guys. Hospital. Okay. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Hit the screen. Let me know. Um, if you heard of this story, he only lives another two years. Okay. Hmm. 
hot bread that is how has happened to me. <laughs> I don't know if I could take seeing somebody waking up at a funeral. They're dead. Stay dead. Because <laughs> it's when he lost a lot of oxygen from it. Basically being in low power mode. Okay. okay. Somebody just came on in for stimulus check. Okay. But I hear you. Greetings, greetings. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And let me know if you heard of this story of the young lady, three years old, waking up at her funeral in her casket. Um, I'm just, I feel sorry for the family. Um, that is double devastating because they had to have some type of hope when they saw her breathing. And then, um, you know, to rush her to the, back to the hospital and she um, still died. So I know they are just, you know, devastated at everything. But grand risings to everyone because um, it is 5.32 a.m. here uh, in South Carolina uh, on the East Coast. I am in insomniac, couldn't sleep. I said, why not go TikTok Live and let's talk about this story. Um, and as I said, this story went viral last week and I was just like, this just can't be happening. And I continue to read and read and it did they were having the funeral the young lady was laying in the casket breathing and then her eyes began to move um the mother did explain that um they separated her from her daughter and wouldn't let her go in the back with her daughter, um, which I think was very wrong. They should have let the mother stay with her daughter and they just told the mom, let your daughter die in peace. Let your daughter go in peace. And you should never tell a mom to just let her child die um, in peace. Um, and not from a stomach virus. I. I still say there is some um, negligence on the hospital's part, and I do hope that they um, get that cleared up. Okay. Hmm. Hold on a moment. I don't know where these bots or trolls come from. Do I look like I, you know what? And I'm trying to be nice about that. Okay. Um, and my blocks are strong. I will totally block you. I just block two people. I ain't even about that life, y'all. Young people, please go find something to do. Like, get ready for school. Uh, college, where are we going? Okay, so getting back to my topic, um, a three-year-old um, girl wakes up at her own funeral. Um, which is the viral story that happened on um, last week. Thank you so much, Sean. Well, it went viral last week. This young lady um, died on August um, 17th. And I feel sorry for the mother, like I said, because they separate um, the mother and the child from each other and they should have never separated the mother from her daughter uh, and 
that's just not sitting well with me. I, I'm a mother, I'm a single mother, and I know how I felt when my son had to go into the hospital and um, me fighting with the doctors. So I just don't um, understand how all of that happened. But like I said, being that it's from Mexico, um, I can understand okay um okay so I didn't block this person because he's still on here let me oh lord alright Yeah, the next time I go live, I need a moderator. I'm not about to slide. Y'all, comment where you're tuning in from. Let me know if you've heard of this story. Also, another story that went viral last week was um, a young lady killing three men in her family. Um, let's see. And it said she killed the men over her twin sister. Um, her twin sister was being abused by her husband. Um, she and the twin sister was married for 14 years. Um, so she killed the twin sister's husband. She killed the twin sister's father and father-in-law. Because she said all of them knew what was going on. And they let it happen. And she killed all of them and then killed herself. Now, I don't understand why she killed herself. And I said she didn't have to kill them. You know, she could shoot them and, and warn them. But she didn't have to kill them. That went viral real quick. Um, but yeah, she, and I assume she was doing it because she was tired of her sister being abused. Um, and she was calling herself um, protecting her sister from being abused. Has anyone heard of this story? Okay. Well, I have successfully did a live. Uh, I don't even know how long I was on. I always say maybe three minutes. Um, the next one, I think I would have a couple of stories. I don't know. But I just wanted to try it out since this is my first live. Um, and I probably will um, do it at a better time. But since I couldn't sleep, I decided to go live. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you especially to Sean because Sean said um, to me. And I appreciate that so much. Um, thank you for everyone who's tuned in. Um, remember to like and follow. Yeah, like and follow. Um, and let me know um, what videos uh, you would like me to react to. If you see a video out there you want me to react to, just message it to me and I will do a reaction video to it. Um, I don't know. What, let's see what this guy's. And hi. Okay. What is the